might take a solid view here that if infinity occurs, your theory is broken down, your theory is not good enough, and you need a better theory. So that is my view on it. That if, if infinity occurs in your theory, that means your model has gone beyond its domain of validity. When you say that to reach infinity, that's a fundamental mistake. It will always be expanding towards infinity, but it will never reach infinity. That's the fundamental distinction. You won't ever get there. Uh, uh, David, uh, respond to that. That you're well, bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger is, forever, but you never yeah, reach infinity because it's not a number. This is, this is just a prejudice. And in this, now it's become a prejudice about what words we use. <laughs> the space time manifold either is infinite in time or it's finite in time. Right. right and right. if it's finite in time, then it comes to an end after a finite time. And th that means. If you were rejecting the infinite ones, you'd be rejecting a whole class of cosmological theories for no physical reason. I, I'm not. I'm not rejecting models which expand forever. All I'm saying is that they never reach that final state. It is always in the future. Uh, there, there, there's the space a space time doesn't reach. Here. It just yes. is. The space time doesn't reach things. It is there. It's a four-dimensional thing. Yeah, so, so the, the, this is a deep underlying dis dispute. I don't believe in a block universe. I believe in a growing block universe. That space time is expanding. It has a future boundary. Now, it turns out that NASA agree with me. They think the universe is 13.7 billion years old. If it is 13.7 billion years old, it doesn't stretch to infinity. That is its age. It will be bigger later. It will be bigger later and later, but it will never be infinite years old. It will be getting older and older and over, but it will never actually be infinity. So I believe in evolving block universe not a block universe which has already reached infinity. That doesn't make physical yes. sense. But let, let, let me put a challenge to David. What experiment would prove to you that ex infinity exists? What's, what's the experiment? As I said, uh, we don't judge scientific theories by what we can prove. An experiment can never prove anything. It can only disprove at best, and uh, it can explain. And those are the two criteria by which we need to judge science, not by whether we believe it's a block universe or not a block universe. It's whether the theory of its being a block universe is a good explanation of what we want to explain in the world. Yeah, well, there's, uh, a, and there's a distinction here between some mathematical physicists who have theories of space-time which produce a block universe. The real working cosmologists, the people who analyze the Planck data, do not believe that. They assign an age to the universe which says it, it, it does not stretch to infinity, it, it is moving towards them, but they assign an age to the universe at the present time which is in fact contradiction to the people who say we live in the block universe. For more debates, talks and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI-TV.